Greetings, everybody. My name is Travis Guzzi. I'm the Mission Engagement Facilitator for the Central Region of the Southeastern District, and it is a joy and privilege to once again bring this latest edition of the iGo Vlog to you. To empower you as everyday missionaries to connect with your neighbors in love and service in order to connect people to Jesus. Well, today I want to talk about a missional living concept very similar to something I talked about or related to in a couple editions ago of the iGo Vlog. We talked about kingdom hospitality and looked at the story of Zacchaeus. Well, I want to talk about a related missional living idea called table fellowship. And when we look at Jesus' life and ministry, it was defined by this idea of table fellowship. Often, he was eating and drinking with people as part of his ministry. So much so that we see this highlighted in Matthew chapter 9, when Jesus calls an individual by the name of Levi, or we know him as Matthew. And he says to him, follow me. And Matthew is so overjoyed by this new calling that he wants to throw a dinner party and invite his friends to meet Jesus. And so there Jesus is, and he's, he's in the midst of this gathering celebrating with Matthew, so much so that the Pharisees, these religious out, upstanding individuals, at least in their own eyes, uh, look at the dinner party and they begin to grumble. Look, he's gone to eat with tax collectors and sinners. Well, Jesus responds on hearing this and he says, it's not the healthy who need a doctor, it's the sick. For learn this, I, I haven't come to call the righteous, but I've come to call sinners. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. And what we see in this is how Jesus, through table fellowship, that, that he eats and drinks with even those who are rejected and on the outside with sinners. You see, table fellowship was the idea of not just enjoying a meal in Jesus' day, but, but it was also the idea of community, fellowship, and acceptance. That when you ate with somebody, you were accepting them, you loved them, you were showing even mercy to them. Uh, we see this highlighted in Jesus having table fellowship with his disciples there in the upper room, celebrating the Passover just before his death. And there in the midst of that, that fellowship and that communion together, that Jesus holds up bread and wine and says, this is my body, this is my blood, pointing to the sacrifice that he soon would make for not only those sinners gathered with him at that table, but each time we gather around the Lord's table on a Sunday morning or whenever we can gather for worship and we receive the Lord's Supper, his sacrifice of body and blood in the bread and in the wine. And there we, we experience fellowship and communion with Jesus and with one another in that table fellowship. Well, we can take that idea and think about as the pandemic comes to an end here very shortly, prayerfully, that perhaps we can borrow a page from Jesus and practice some table fellowship. That uh, we can look at uh, those in our neighborhoods, in our communities, maybe even people that, that others consider outcasts or might even call sinners, to invite them to our house, to reflect the love of Jesus the way he did with Matthew and his friends. That we can sit down and enjoy a meal together because it doesn't matter what culture you're a part of that today, even in our day and age, that enjoying a meal together is a means of showing acceptance, of building community and friendship. And there we can enjoy a meal with people, let them know that uh, we accept them, that we invite them into our lives. And whether that's a, a maybe a formal dinner or perhaps it's a, a backyard barbecue, whatever it is, look for opportunities to take the time to make that heart-to-heart, in-person connection with those around a meal together. Because let's face it, there are a lot of people who are longing, not just for a good meal, but are longing for community and intimacy and fellowship because we haven't experienced that for a long time, especially with this pandemic. And this is a great opportunity to practice uh, part of the ministry of Jesus in an ongoing basis in our lives and in our times. I hope that this idea of table fellowship uh, is a blessing to you as you think about ways to be a greater blessing to your neighbors to be able to love and serve them. If you have any questions about this or any of the other iGo vlogs I've done, these missional ideas for living, uh, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to talk to you and answer any questions you have. With that, I want to wish you all God's richest blessings, and we'll catch you next time for our next iGo vlog. Take care, everybody.